Hi, boys and girls. I hope you're enjoying your summer. Our next book is Animal Discoveries, written by Karen Mockler. Make sure you are following along with your fingers so you can point to the words as I'm reading out loud. The Bon Air Banded Box Jellyfish's scientific name is Tamoya Oboya. The name was chosen in a contest. The winner said most people would say, oh boy, when seeing the jellyfish. Introduction. If you wanted to find a new animal species, where would you look? You might look in remote corners of the globe. You might also look under a microscope to see how one species is different from another. Scientists discover more than 15,000 animal species each year. That's 1% of the more than 1.5 million species we know about already. At the same time, species are dying out at record rates around the globe. For this reason, when we do stumble on a new species, it is an important discovery. Monkey Mania in 2007, a new species of monkey was found in the forest of the Democratic Republic of the Congo. The Lasula has large eyes and is shy and quiet. The first one found by scientists was being kept as a pet. The Kaketa Titi monkey lives in the Amazon jungle with about 20 other species of Titi monkey. The Kaketa is known for its bushy red beard. It doesn't have a white bar on its forehead as other TT monkeys do. Its babies purr like cats. Only around 250 Kaketa TT monkeys are alive today, meaning the species is endangered. The Matong narrow mouth frog lays its eggs in pitcher plants. The tadpoles grow in the liquid inside. Freaky Fabulous Frogs The Matong narrow mouth frog is the size of a pea. It was discovered on Borneo, an island in Southeast Asia, in 2010. It turns out that scientists had seen these frogs before, but thought they were the young of a different species. Then they heard the frogs calling. Since only adult frogs make calls, they realized that these tiny frogs must be full grown. The long-nosed tree frog is also known as a spike-nosed tree frog. A herpetologist discovered the long-nosed tree frog in 2010 while exploring the Foja Mountains of New Guinea the area is so remote that it has been called the lost world. This tree frog is known for its long, unique nose. When the male frog calls, its nose points up like a spike. When the frog is done calling, its nose falls. No one knows why. The frog has another name, the Pinocchio frog. The herpetologist spotted it sitting on a bag of rice in his campsite. When the blossom bat feeds on nectar, it also helps pollinate the flower, which can then make seeds to grow new plants. Furry finds. Another find during the 2010 Foja Mountains trip was the blossom bat. Although bats are mammals, this one has been called the hummingbird of the bat world. It uses its long tongue to drink nectar from the flowers of rainforest trees. During a 2005 expedition to another island, Madagascar, researchers found Goodman's mouse lemurs. Not much bigger than mice, these tiny lemurs jump around the trees at night. In the daytime, they sometimes sleep in empty bird's nest. Do you know? Lemurs are only found in Madagascar. 
Sazima's tarantulas are only found in the tabletop mountains of Brazil. These mountains have a different climate than the surrounding areas. Interesting invertebrates. Scientists estimate that vertebrates, animals with backbones, make up only 3% of all species. This remaining 97% of animal species known to scientists are invertebrates, animals without backbones. Sazima tarantula has a special beauty. Its dark blue body almost glows. This fantastic arachnid has an extremely limited habitat, only living high in the mountains of Brazil. Like most insects, plant hoppers go through stages of development. This young plant hopper is just beginning to develop wings. The troll haired plant hopper was discovered in 2013 in the rainforest of South America. It may not be good looking, but at least it has good hair. The wild hair isn't hair at all, but instead waxy secretions from the insect's belly. When a predator attacks, the hair breaks off and the plant hopper can jump to safety. That's what scientists think anyway, but they aren't sure. The Gorgon's Head Starfish is named for the Gorgons from Greek mythology. These creatures had hundreds of snakes on their heads instead of hair. Underwater Wonders Scientists discovered the Gorgon's Head Starfish in 2010 in the Atlantic Ocean, about half a mile, 800 meters beneath the surface. The Gorgon's Head a species of basket star has five curly branching arms that split off from its body. The five arms include as many as 5,000 tips. The tips help it find food floating by in the water. It also uses its arms to walk along the ocean floor and to protect itself. Scientists were able to identify the walking bamboo shark as a new species because it's coloring difference from that of other bamboo sharks. Since Earth's oceans are so huge, large parts have yet to be explored. However, that's not the reason it took until 2013 to discover the walking bamboo shark. Like most sharks, the walking bamboo shark is no threat to humans. It lives off the coast of Indonesia. Scientists discovered it because its coloration differ, differs from that of other bamboo sharks. This new species is thought to reach about 30 inches or 80 centimeters in length. It uses its fins to push itself along the ocean floor in search of food. The wiggling movement makes it look as though the shark is walking. Olinguitos have smaller, rounder faces and shorter tails than olingos, which they were mistaken for. Hiding in plain view. In 2013, researchers discovered that for more than a hundred years, olinguitos had been identified as a wrong species. These mammals, which look like teddy bears, leap through trees at night. The smallest member of the raccoon family, the olinguito, can be found in Ecuador and Colombia. It is the first species of this type to be discovered in the Americas in 35 years. Mistaken identity. Humans may encounter an unidentified species for years while mistaking it for a familiar species. This often happens because the two species look the same, at least on the outside. These are called cryptic species they are only found to be distinct when scientists study their genetic code. As DNA technology is used more and more, reports of distinct new species are on the rise. The Cambodian tailor bird is hard to find because it lives in dense brush. 
Finding new species of birds is almost as rare as finding new mammals. In 2009, researchers discovered the Cambodian tailor bird near the city of Nam Pen. Tests, tests showed that this tailor bird was a separate new species. Besides studying its DNA and feathers, scientists studied its pretty song. While all tailor birds warble, no two species sound quite the same. Sure enough, the song of the Cambodian tailor bird sets it apart from all the rest. Number of species discovered by type, 2000 to 2009. Insects, plants, arachnids, fungi, crustaceans, mollusks, bacteria, fish, all other. What's next? Scientists continue to amaze us by finding new species. Experts agree that most have yet to be discovered. However, those animals we have discovered bring some problems to light. For example, many species have tiny populations. Human activity causes many species to face small and shrinking habitats. Yet, each new discovery is also cause for hope. It can bring a renewed effort to save and even restore a habitat. Doing this can save the animal that lived there. Both those we know about and those we don't know about yet. I hope you enjoyed reading about these animals. Do you have a favorite animal? Remember to think about good questions we can ask over what we read today.